and, uh, and the width of the track's a lot wider now. So it's going to be, I think, better in the long run for sure. You're probably getting a lot of sleep this weekend, aren't you, with your new baby not being here? Uh, I t well, it's, I don't think it has anything to do with that. I think for whatever reason, I have had a lot of sleep, though, so it feels really nice. And it's not that Juliet keeps us up because she's really great. She sleeps almost all the way through the night as it is. But I think when you're there, you just worry about it. You know, I'm always waking up just looking over there and making sure she's still breathing everything's good. So it's uh, I get the nerves of a first-time father, I guess. All right. Well, congratulations to you on that, and good luck this weekend. Rick, uh, I'm sure you have some replays on what happened while we were chatting down here. Yeah, I think. I uh, was checking my breath on this Daryl Harz run out of turn number four. We talked about getting loose. That's, even though they made this front straightaway 10 foot wider, he used every bit of it up and wasn't enough. And we talk about the speed of this racetrack. Look at the impact right here. Lifted the rear tires off the ground at a place like Phoenix. That shows you the kind of speeds we're running. you got to remember with this O2 car, he has to qualify on speed, so he can't afford maybe to take that extra time. So he was on it, and it didn't work out for him. Yeah, Daryl Hart, one of the goer go homers, and he will go home because his qualifying run was the 19th quick of the 19 that have been on the racetrack. Unfortunate for Daryl Hart.